uh, welcome to ITSP Technology. This is the part. This is the uh, so now this is the part third of the interview question series. हाँ पहले मैं बता दूँ भाई ये वही वीडियो देखें लोग जिनको और जब अच्छे से नहीं those people are no very well कोर जाना then that people can uh, go through these videos and question answer. Okay, don't. Don't watch that uh, video, that person video, those people who are, don't know the whole job. Okay. Because I'm just explaining the questions here. Okay, not giving the examples proper. Okay, so sorry for that because I am not giving the example. Uh, so please don't mind it. And those people who will know the core Java, then you can go through that. Okay, you can put the speed of 2x, 3x, whatever you want. You can just put it and see the one's questions. Give the answer. That's it. Okay. Now let's start. Topic. So now first question is the verse related to overriding. Today's topic overriding and overloading. Okay. So <clears throat> how will you implement method overloading in Java? Okay. In Java, answer is in Java, a class have a multiple method with the same name, but the different argument it is called a method overloading. To implement method overloading, we have to create two methods with the same name in the class and do one more of the following. Okay, different number of parameters, different type or uh, different data type of the parameters, different sequence of the type of parameters. Okay. We can implement it overriding, overloading, same name but different argument. What kind of argument variation are allowed in method overloading? Okay. So mainly three types of variation we allowed. Uh, number of parameters, right? Variation, data type of parameters, sequence of data. The, these are three here. Yeah? Same thing is here. Yeah. Maybe question the interview or ask you some you know, mixed kind of thing. That's why I prepared this question. Okay, next question is what is the uh, what is not why it is not possible to do method overloading why changing return type of method <coughs> in Java? Try to understand the question. Java question is what is why it is not possible to do method overloading by changing return type of a method in Java. Bula, agar a written type change kar de, to overloading ki possible nahi hai. Mana kar raha agar written type change kar to overloading nahi jo. Kali argument different hoga. Ta written type the name with the same. If we change the written type of overloaded method, then it will lead to a ambiguous behavior. How will client know which method will return what type? Due to the this different written type are not allowed in overloaded method. This is a written type is not allowed. Is it allowed to overload main method in Java? Yes. Java allows user to create many method with the same name, with the same name like main, but only public static void main our method is used for execution. How do we implement method overloading in Java? To overriding, overriding, sorry, not overloading, overriding. To overriding a method, we just provide a new implementation of a method with same name in subclass. So there will be at least two, two implementation of the methods with the same name once implementation is in parent class and another implementation in the child class. Same. Method name same, written type is argument. Are we allowed to override a static method in Java? No. Java class not allow overriding a static method. If you, if you create a, a static method in, with the same name in subclass, then it is a new method not overridden. Why Java does not allow overriding a static method? Next question. Why Java does not support overriding a static method? Next question. Why Java does not allow overriding a static method? To override 
the overridden uh, method, you need an uh, instance of a class. The static method is not associated with any instance of the class. So the concept of overriding does not apply here. Therefore, Java does not allow overriding. Static overriding a method, you need to instance of a class. You need a instance of a class. Static method is not associated with any instance. Static methods are not associated with any instance. With an individual thing. Is it allowed to override? It is allowed to override an overloaded method. Yes, you can override an overloaded method in Java. What is the different Difference between method overloading and method overriding in Java. Difference between method overloading and method overriding are that. Method overloading is a static polymorphism. A static polymorphism, we can say in the last question series. And the method overriding is the runtime polymorphism. Method overloading occurs within the same class. Method overriding happen in two class with the hierarchical relationship. Parameters must be different in method overloading. Parameter must be same in method overriding. Method overloading is a compile time concept. Method overriding is the runtime. Does Java allow virtual functions? Yes, all instance method in Java are virtual functions by default. Only class methods and private instance method are not virtual method in Java. Next question. What is meant by convariant, convariant written type in Java? The convariant written type of a math of a method is one of one that can replace by narrower, narrow type when the method is overridden in subclass. Let's say class B is a child class A. There is a get method in class A as well as class B get method of a class A. When return an instance of a A, then you can understand this is not important question. No one can ask you. Okay, just okay. for the convenient, uh, I think it's okay. Just leave it this question. Otherwise, you can read it yourself. This is the totally explanation. Okay. So now next is topic about overloading is overriding is and next topic is our polymer field. What is runtime polymer field? Nothing but in here you can see the runtime polymer field means runtime polymer field here you can see runtime polymer field overriding. So runtime polymorphism or dynamic polymorphism is the polymorphism that exists at runtime in case of method overriding is it is not known which method will be called at runtime based on the type of object jvm decides the exact method that should be called so at the compile time it is not known which method will call at runtime it is uh, is it possible to achieve runtime polymorphism by data members in java No, you can say no. We need to create a runtime polymorphism by implementing method as two label number in editors in Java overriding so we can achieve runtime polymorphism. So explain uh, the difference between static and dynamic binding. In static binding, reference are resolved at compile time. In dynamic binding, reference are resolved at runtime. Dynamic binding and static binding. Okay. So now person p equals to new person p dot form. Java compile resolve this binding at compile time. This is the compile time. Okay. This is dynamic. Next one. In the method person no, this is type casting dynamic point. This is resolved by the time of runtime. Abstraction. What is abstraction in object oriented programming? Abstraction. abstraction is the process of hiding, create certain implementation detail of an object and showing only the essential feature of the object to outside world. It is a different form of abstraction. Abstraction process identifies 
commonalities and hidden the complexity of the implementation. It helps us in focusing on the interface that we share with the outside world. How is how is abstraction different from encapsulation? Minding the data, huh? Encapsulation. How does abstraction happen at class level design? It results in the hiding the implementation details. Encapsulation is also known as a information hiding. As an example of encapsulation, making the member variable private and providing the data and set up on this. What is abstract class in Java? Abstract class in Java has one or more abstract method. An abstract method is just declared in the abstract class, but it is not implemented. An abstract class has to be extended in Java and its abstract method. Have to implement it, uh, implemented by a child class. Also, Java does not allow new instance of abstract class. Now, next solution is it is allowed to mark a method, abstract method, without marking this class. Abstract? No. Java specification says that if there is at least one abstract method in a class, the class has to be marked. It is allowed to mark a method. Abstract method without making the class abstract? No. Java specification says that if there is at least one abstract method in a class, class has been abstract. It is allowed to mark the method abstract as well as final. No, it will be a contradictory statement to mark a method abstract as a final as well as final. Abstract method has to be overridden by a child class. Child class and a final method cannot be overridden. Cannot be overridden. Therefore, the other method can be either abstract or final in Java. Can we instantiated an abstract class in Java? No, we cannot create instance of an abstract class in Java. What is the difference between JDK and JRE? This is the question, the first question I think I have added mistakenly in the slide. Okay, so now cannot be instant. This question is the important, guys. It is allowed, it is allowed to mark a method object as well as final. No, it will not contradict a statement. Can we then see it an abstract class in Java? We cannot create an instance of abstract class in Java. Yeah, it is allowed to mark method abstract method without making the class abstract. From Java specific can say that if there is at least one abstract, then you can say, then you can mark that method as the abstract. So this is total third session is completed. No, now we will meet in the next session. Okay, thank you.